In this video, we will see how to find a baddie for a particular transaction code. So let us see how it is done. So there are two steps or two ways to find a particular baddie. One is to using the class that is CL underscore exit handler. Then there is another way that is using SE84 transaction code. So let us see how it is done using the class CL underscore exit handler. So CL underscore exit handler is the class and get instance is the method. So let us see the step. First we have to go to SE24 transaction code. Then we have to give the class name as CL underscore exit handler. Then we have to click on display and double click on the method that is get instance and put a breakpoint in the below method that is this is the method here get underscore class underscore name underscore by interface. So here we will put our breakpoint and when we execute it so this would be triggered so that means this is our baddie. So let us see the next step the next way that is using SE84 transaction code. So first we have to find the package name for the transaction code then we have to go to SC84 transaction code then here we have to expand enhancement folder and at the, then we have to expand the business add-in folder. So here double click on the definition and give our package name. So here uh, example we have to give our package name suppose the package name is VA and then click on execute. So when we are clicking on execute our list of bodies will be di displayed. So now with the help of simple practical example, I will explain how to find our body within our T code. So here we have a business requirement that is to raise an error message whenever the vendor belongs to Germany country and the region is not specified. So whenever we are saving the data and the region is not specified, moreover the country is given as Germany, then an error message should be popping up. So let's see what are the steps here. First is to identify the body for the transaction code XK02. We will be getting a list of all the bodies for the transaction XK02 and we have to identify which bodies for, for our particular use. It is based on our requirement then we have to implement that body and the, uh, we have to write some code on that particular body so that a particular error message should appear whenever the country is Germany and the region is not specified. So for that let us first go, go to SE24 and we have to provide the class name as CL underscore exit handler. This is the transaction code and this is the object type CL underscore exit handler. We are clicking on display. Then we will be getting a full list of methods here. We have to select get instance here. Now we will be getting this method call method cl underscore exit handler method so here we will apply our breakpoint so what it does is whenever we are calling any particular transaction code our breakpoint would stop here so let's see if it is stopping here so suppose we are providing the t code as xk02 so see our breakpoint is stopping here. Now for our transaction code XK02 we have to see what all bodies are there. So for that we will click on exit name and see this is our first body name which is vendor underscore add underscore data and according to this so we will be getting multiple baddies here and if I just press F8 this particular values would be diff changing so this is the under baddie name vendor underscore address change baddie layer and similarly multiple other baddie names so so we have listed down all the baddie names that we, we are getting so one of them was vendor underscore add underscore data so we have identified that whenever we are saving our transaction xk02 at that time this particular body is needed and our first step is completed here that is to identify which body is used for our requirement so now moving on to the second step that is to create implementation for the body for that we have to go to sc19 so from here we will just remove this breakpoint okay 
Now going to SC19. Here there are two screens. One is edit implementation and the other one is create implementation. So what we have done in the first step was to identify a body and now in the second step we will be creating implementation based on that particular body itself. So for that we will click on classic body and here we will provide our body name and we will click on create implementation we have to provide implementation name here we, it could be starting from Z so I have already done this particular step here and for now to edit implementation I will just select this classic body and the name that I have provided here which was Z vendor underscore add underscore data this was the name that I had already provided so if we see here display and go to interface so here there would be a method called check all data so now here we can see this is the method that we have created whenever we are clicking on save so if I I have provided a breakpoint here if I go to xk02 screen so this is xk02 I have provided vendor name 1 and I have checked all the checkboxes so now when I click on save so it would be debugger would stop here so here we go so now what we have to do we have to just write our code into this particular method and whenever we click on save this would get triggered and it will check if the country name is Germany and if the region is not specified then a particular message should be shown now let us just move this okay so now let us implement our body so this is the message so I will change it here and I will add my code here so if the country is Germany and if the region is not specified then a message should appear region is mandatory for German vendors and the type is error so I will just save it and check it and activate it I will remove this from here now if I go to XK02 and if I enter here now I have provided the country here as DE but the region is not specified now if I press save I should get a message here region is mandatory for German vendors so we have successfully implemented our body so we had to do two steps here first is to identify the body using SE24 and then we had to implement our body using SE19 so hope you are clear with the concept of body implementation thanks for watching